let me show you a very interesting place in the Southwest. I used to live in Arizona. Usually when you think Arizona, you think about the Grand Canyon. But let me show you a place you've heard of, but may not know a lot about. Just on the south side of Tucson, out close to Tucson International Airport, up on Valencia Road. Let's get to that. There's a place called the Pima Air and Space Museum. Let me go to satellite view so you can see this a little better. This is uh, one of the nicest uh, museums I've been to uh, as far as the number of aircraft they have. Uh, this great big airplane is a B-36. There's only a few of those left in the world. There's one down in Dayton at the Air Force uh, Museum. This big one right here is a B-52. Turns out the, the military still flies those, which uh, leads me to something uh, that's important about the, the PMA Air and Space Museum. Uh, it's uh, proximity to uh, this place right up here. This is the davis Monthan Air Force Base. And you've heard of this place, not called by that, but because of a place over here called AMARG, A-M-A-R-G. That's the Aerospace Maintenance and Re Regeneration Group, I think is what it stands for. Um, otherwise known as the Boneyard. This is where the Air, the Air Force stores aircraft so that it could be used in an emergency. Uh, and these airplanes right across the middle here are F-15s. We still fly those. These smaller ones just south of that those look like F-16s, but uh, we still fly F-16s. There's all kinds of airplanes. Uh, let me find, there's a big section of, oh, here we go. That plane that I told you about down at the museum, these are B-52s that are just stored. Now, AMARC has two parts. It has the storage side, and then there's this road right down the middle that separates the storage side from the scrapyard. And on the east side of that road is an area where they literally sometimes destroy airplanes. These airplanes were destroyed as part of a uh, some sort of uh, peace agreement we had with the Soviet Union 30 years ago. We agreed to chop up a certain number of our uh, airplanes that we had in storage, and they did the same. But the rest of these airplanes, all of the working parts have been taken off to be used in the aircraft that we still fly. Uh, so AMARC is actually a military uh, facility that makes money for the government because it saves us the money, the expense of having to buy new parts for a lot of our airplanes. So if you are ever driving cross country and you're down here on I-10, Hop off on Kolb Road. That's this road that goes right down the middle of Amark. And in fact, from this intersection right here, you can see a lot of the airplanes. But I recommend driving up to Escalante. So up across the north side of the boneyard is Escalante. And you can see hundreds and hundreds of airplanes there. There's almost 4,000 airplanes stored here on its own. I think it's the fourth largest air force in the world. And these are just extra planes that we have in storage. 